Hello, this is Jennifer Sinceri, Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. I'm going to just wait a few minutes and hopefully some people will pop on. Hopefully everyone's doing okay. And that um, you're having a good evening. Let's see. Today is Tuesday, July 7th, 2020. And I am going to make a card using two stamp sets. I'm going to be using Zany Zebras and Butterfly Gala. All right. Okay, and I just wanted to show you that Zany Zebras is in our beginner brochure on page nine. And it's also in our annual catalog. And this is just a very, very sweet stamp set here. Um, really geared towards birthday parties, but tonight I'm going to make a Thinking of You card using it. Okay. And if you could give me just a shout out, if you could put a comment on my video, if you would like it and share it, that would be wonderful. That helps my, um, my small home-based business. It helps people to see my videos on Facebook when you do that. So I would really appreciate that. All right. And if you are here for the replay, um, thank you. If it doesn't say live, um, you're here on the replay and I appreciate you watching. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I'll show you the card that we're going to make. Uh, I'm using Pool Party and um, Blushing Bride for the pink butterflies. And I'm using a very simple watercolor technique that I'm going to teach you. And then this is the inside of the card. Okay. All right. So to save time, what I did was I cut a... Um, card base. This is an A2 standard card base. All right. So it's scored at four and a quarter and I cut it at five and a half. And what I did, I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer, was that I've embossed it. Okay. And I did that to save time. What I used was the, I don't know if you can see that. This is the greenery embossing folders. There are two that come in a, in a set for $8 in the annual catalog, okay? So I went ahead and um, embossed that just to save time. Okay, and then I took our, um, oops, our stitched dies. They come in a pack of different shapes. I wanted to show them to you stitch shapes um, and you get circles, squares, and ovals. It has 12 dies and it's for $30 and that is used in your die cut or embossing machine. Okay, and you cut these shapes out. So what I did was I used the smallest square and it's stitched. All right, and I cut out three squares. Okay, and these are the ones, these are on watercolor um, paper because we're going to do some water painting or watercoloring, I should say. All right, so I have cut these out um, on watercolor paper, and you can see the little stitched design on there. Okay, all right, now I last time I did a video, we had a little bit of difficulty with the white on white. So I think I'm going to use a piece of paper underneath my uh, mat just so that you can, hopefully it won't have problems with focus. We had some problems with focus. So I'm just going to 
grab a piece of cardstock that's colored and hopefully that will solve our problems with the focusing, okay? Because sometimes white on white, the camera doesn't know how to handle that. Okay, now we're going to do watercoloring. When we do watercoloring, we have to use a special ink. So I want to talk about um, the two different black inks that we have, okay? So we have Memento Tuxedo Black. And this is an ink pad that you would use on most of your stamping. Um, anything that's not involved with water. Then we have our stays on. And this is a solvent ink. This is permanent. And so it's also waterproof. So this is the ink that we use when we are watercoloring. If I'm gonna be using um, aqua painters or I'm going to be using um, a watercolor brush or our um, even your blender pens with watercolor pencils this is the ink that you want to use it will stain your ink pads but we do have a um, cleaner that's specifically for this okay so I'm going to be stamping my images in the stays on ink because I'm going to be watercoloring. All right, so let's get started. I put my zebras on some acrylic blocks already, and I'm obviously not going to get the entire image because this is very small. I'm just getting their head, okay? Um, I'll just do it this way. Sometimes when the stamp is bigger than the ink pad, I do it that way and I'm just going to get the head okay all right there's one and then I'm going to use another image just gonna get his head okay and hopefully my head is not in the way Tonight I am using my brand new um, Archon, um, sorry, Archon camera holder, and I am so excited. My husband bought this for me for my birthday to help with my business, and in case we have to do any distance learning, I am a teacher. If I have to do any distance learning this coming school year, this will come in very handy. Alright, so I've got my three zebra images that I'm going to now do a little bit of watercoloring. And whenever you're done with your ink pad, always shut it because Murphy's Law, something will fall in your ink pad or your cat will walk in the ink pad or anything like that. And I speak from experience. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what we call an aqua painter. Now I have the older version of our aqua painter um, and it's just a paintbrush that has a barrel of water, okay? Um, we still carry these, but they're a little bit um, different in look and you're gonna get two of these. One is um, a thicker brush, I believe, more broad, and one's finer, and then there's a new one that looks like a paintbrush. Um, and so there's three aqua painters for $12 in the new catalog, okay? But I'm using our retired ones for right now. Now, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of pool party, and these are the old ink pads. Our new ones, our new ink pads are flat. Um, they have just a different design on them. Um, the old ones are still good if you have these. You just, um, you would purchase our ink refills like you would any ink pad, and they just open differently than newer ones. Um, so I have both just because of when I um, purchased mine. And what I'm doing is I'm squeezing it. I'm just giving it a little hug because what I'm trying to do is get some ink um, in this little plate or cover. Now, if you're going to do this on the newer ink pads, it's a little bit harder to do, okay? But you could still 
do it and then <laughs> it is a little bit harder to do and if it doesn't work there's another tip that I could show you. there's a little bit right there the other thing that you could do is take the um, refill and put a couple drops on one of our acrylic blocks and you could do it that way okay now my little tip for whenever you're doing watercoloring what you're gonna want to do first is take your aqua painter and just lightly lightly gloss over the area that you're going to put color because you want it already wet so that when you add color you're not getting um, dark 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 brush strokes I want this to just be a very light wash I guess you would say on the space that I'm going to be adding color so what I'm doing is I'm just wetting these spaces first so they will be ready for color all right and now I'm just going to take a little bit of that ink and I'm going to lightly I'm not even squeezing my barrel I'm just going to lightly do a wash I just want a little bit of color pool, um, pool party is a very light color okay just add a little bit more I'm trying to avoid his stripes because I want him to be black and white not pool party white and black <laughs> all right I'm gonna let him dry and then I'm going to add another let's see and I always start at the edge just because I want to make sure it's not super dark okay just a white little soft wash and I'm not going back and forth a lot because I don't want my paper to start to wear out um, you know how when paper gets wet the fibers start to break apart now this is watercolor paper so it's supposed to be a little bit sturdier but if you if you did go back and forth a lot on your even your watercolor paper it's still going to break down and you're going to have fibers so we we don't want to press hard and we don't want to go back and forth more than we have to okay it's very very light now I'm going to add a little more ink because I want I want to add a shadow effect on my zebras so let's see if I can get a little more color okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up that color and I'm just going to go around his head like a silhouette I guess um, just creating a shadow to make it a little bit more pronounced okay all right let's do this one any type of coloring or painting is so relaxing um, when the house is quiet and there's not a lot going on um, this is just very therapeutic for me and let's see let's do this guy And don't worry if it's not perfect. Nobody else is going to know except you. Okay. I'm going to want to. I'm just adding a little more water to soften that up a bit. Okay. All right. Now, this one got a, a little bit darker right there than I wanted but um, that's okay 
every card is going to be a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to close my ink pad and I'm going to cap my aqua painter because I'm done with that. All right, we're going to let these dry. I'm just going to put them to the side here. And then what I'm going to start to do is um, I am going to stamp my little butterflies. So I just have a scrap, a piece of scrap paper. This is Blushing Bride. And remember I said we're using two stamp sets. So I've used the zebras, but now I'm going to use a butterfly from this stamp set. Okay. And so I picked one. And the stamps um, have a big butterfly and a little butterfly. I'm only using the little butterfly. And this is my Blushing Bride. And I'm just going to stamp a couple butterflies on this scrap paper. Three, and I like odd numbers. And I'm going to use a couple on the inside too. So I'm going to stamp quite a few. Okay, and if I need to do more, I will. Now, Butterfly Gala, um, it has a coordinating punch, and so that we do have a butterfly punch. And I'll show you how these work. So we've got this little doohickey here. I don't know what that would be called. It slides, so you just um, push it with your thumb, and then it releases the hinge, okay? And... I'm just going to put my paper in and now punch out those butterflies. If you're not careful, they'll go flying across the room. Okay, I'm just lining that up to the best that I can. Two, three, and four, five, six, and seven. Okay, this is why I used a piece of scrap paper because, um, the punch with those two shapes, you're going to get all these little pieces that you don't need. So that's why I always have a little box that I keep my scrap paper in. All right, I'm moving my butterflies and we're going to get rid of these little bits that we don't need and throw them in my little garbage. Okay. And I need to close this because, like I said, I could have a kitty come join me. All right. Now, I think it's time to get started putting together our card. All right, this guy is called a silicone mat, and the wonderful thing about this is I do all my um, gluing and adhesive work on these now because uh, liquid glue, snail, um, tacky glue, whatever you're using, it washes off of this. And then you don't get your surface all gluey and sticky. Um, and I need some Stampin' Dimensionals, which I'm going to pull out because I don't necessarily want to use all little ones. We have our mini and our regular, and I want some regular ones. Alright. Because I would like some 3D dimension. Okay, so I'm going to pull out one of those, and then I've got some little ones, too. We'll use those later. Okay, now I want to figure out how I want my zebras. And since I've got, let's see, I have two facing one direction and the other facing. So what I'm going to do is put this guy in the middle, and then the other two are facing that way. Okay, and I'm just... What I'm going to do is do my top and my bottom, and then I'll do the middle piece because I want it to be as evenly distributed as possible. All right, and we're going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals. 
and I'm going to use quite a lot on this because I want it to be evenly um, popped up. Okay, and so we're going to take these off. If you have trouble getting these guys off, you can always use your pick, um, pick your tool or a pair of tweezers. Okay, there's one. Now we're going to do the bottom. If you are on and you are commenting, I apologize. I don't have my tablet in front of me yet. Um, but I'm looking on my laptop and I don't see anybody commenting yet. But I would appreciate if you are watching that you would comment, share, and like my video because that helps my business. Facebook has a um, certain way of doing things and so when you comment on all of my posts um, that helps other people see them and the same for videos if you YouTube is the same way their algorithm uh, works similar to Facebook that when you comment that helps other people see the videos on YouTube same thing for Facebook when you comment it's actually better than just a like okay I think we've got all of those guys off. I'm just checking. Yep. All right. And then we're going to place. Oh, look, I've got. I think I just pulled one off. <laughs> These are so strong that I just ripped it right off. Let's see. I might need to put a little bit of glue there because I don't want to waste that guy. He's got paper. Liquid glue to the rescue. Put a little dot of liquid glue there because uh, he ripped right off with my finger. my tweezers this time so I don't okay and then I'm just lining that up with the other squares okay now we're going to add in our butterflies all right now these little guys are really tiny so Don't get discouraged. Let's see, I want to use my snail adhesive. Okay, snail adhesive has actually retired. It's discontinued. It's the same thing as um, mono or, um, yeah, I guess, Tombow, Tombow. Um, we have a new adhesive, Stampin', Stampin' Plus, I believe it's called. I have not gotten my order yet for some of the supplies. So I'm still waiting for mine to show up so I can start trying it out. And I want my butterflies to look like they're flying. So I'm gonna twist them a little bit there so they're fluttering. And remember, I'm using my silicone mat because I don't want, um, I don't want to gum up my surface and then it rips my card. Am I at the end here? Let's see. No. I have been getting a bad, like a bad lot on these, and they have been, um, I don't know what they're doing. They're just not acting all that great. Let's see, where do I want? I'll put him like over here on this leaf. I've been trying to only put the glue in the middle so I can pop those leaves. All right. And I might need to do um, another, let's see. Do you want, I know I like to do odd numbers, but 
kind of feel like he, we need one right there. Okay. There's that. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of bling, there's two options. Um, I love my Wink Costello pen. This is like a glitter pen, okay? And you could just, it has a little paintbrush and it's gonna be hard for you to see, um, but I'm just adding a little bit of glitter. It's very light. This is the glitter that doesn't get everywhere. <laughs> um, in grade school, whenever we would use glitter, it was everywhere. It was in our hair, it was on our face everywhere. This, it doesn't happen. It just goes where you put it. It's awesome. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of shimmer. It's very, very light. All right, now I'm going to start working on my inside of my card, okay? So I don't like um, card, I don't like cards to be like this. I like them to be dressed up just like I would my, my outside of my card. So we are going to um, work on the inside now. So I created a little mat. Um, if our card base is um, five and a half by four and a quarter, I cut this one at four by five and a fourth, okay? And then this one would be uh, three and three fourths by five. Okay. So bring this color back in because I don't want you not to be able to see what I'm doing, my camera to freak out. So I'm going to pick one of my little zebras to stamp on the inside and now because I'm not watercoloring I'm going to use my memento I don't need to use the permanent and I want the whole zebra this time I want to see his whole body so I'm going to ink him up and when we stamp we don't rock our stamps we just press down with even pressure we don't need to rock it just press and lift Okay, when you rock it, what ends up happening is you'll start to see like the, this part of your stamp um, on your paper. Okay, and we don't want that. That looks yucky. And I need, I need my sentiment. So what I did was I picked the sentiment. All of the sentiments from this one were very birthday. And I'm not making a birthday card. I'm doing a thinking of you card. So I looked at what was here on Butterfly Gala. And it could be a thank you card if you wanted. You could say a little note. Uh, the good things in life are better with you. But I just decided to go with you've been on my mind. Okay. So make sure your stamp is not upside down. That would be bad. And I just tap. We don't need to uh, gush it. Most of the time, our ink pads are very um, juicy. Um, and when they start to dry out, then you just re-ink them. But you just need to tap, tap, tap. And you'll be able to see through if it's a clear stamp to see if you've got even coverage. And then we just press and lift. No rocking. We don't rock our stamps. Okay, now I need a little color. I'm not going to color my zebra on this particular card because I just wanted him to be black and white. I wanted him to be traditional, but I'm going to add in some of my butterflies. So I thought I would put one here and maybe one like on his hiney or floating next to him or somewhere. I need to remember that I'm going to be writing a little bit in my card. All right, so... We'll add a little bit of um, adhesive. We're going to put a butterfly up here. And then we're going to put a little bit on this one. And I think I'm going to put it right here. 
it's almost like he's looking at the butterfly. And I know that's a really ginormous butterfly compared to him, but we could pretend it's a rainforest butterfly. How's that? Although I know zebras aren't in the rainforest. We're just going to use our imagination. Okay. Now, let's put this on our mat. I know some people go kind of crazy with their adhesive. Oh, this one is being a boo-boo head. Um, and this one is Tombow. I think that they have changed their recipe or something because I have noticed the last six months that they have not been the same. And I think that's why Stamping Up discontinued them and went with their own. I think that they were having problems. All right. And now we're going to add this in our card. And again, you don't need to go straight across. You're just going to, oh my gosh. You're just going to do little corners. I just do the corners and a little bit on the sides. I will be very excited to try the new adhesive. Okay. We don't want our card to be upside down, so just make sure you're paying attention and you're eyeballing it that it's evenly laid out. Okay. There's the front of my card and then the inside of my card. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more, um, just pressing this to get my glitter down. I'm going to put a little bit of Wink of Stella on my butterflies, because these are special butterflies. We're going to say they're possibly even magical butterflies. All right, now you might be able to see that glitter a little bit better. Let me hold that up closer. You see that sparkling. Okay, now I'm gonna not close it all the way because I want that to, um, ooh, that's a lot of glitter. All right, it just came out. You don't need to press these really hard, otherwise you just get bombarded with that glitter. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Now, if you wanted to, you could decorate your envelope. And let's see, maybe I will do that. Mm. I think I want a little zebra on my envelope. Wouldn't that be fun? All right. Uh, we'll put my little zebra there and then should I do butterflies or my zebra? How about I'll do a different zebra? We'll do the running zebra. Okay. All right. Let's make sure I see how he's... Okay. Cute. And... I think we need some butterflies to just complete this. So let me grab my butterfly again. Whoever's going to get this card is going to be wowed. They're going to be like, wow, look at all these cute butterflies. Let's see. on the other side too. Okay, let's punch that butterfly. And let's get rid of that piece right there because it's kind of in my way. Line that up. I love punches. 
they make for very quick, um, easy, throw that away, throw this away, because my husband just vacuumed the carpet. And you'll say, oh, my wife's been at it again. All right. I think I'm going to use liquid glue this time because I don't want these butterflies coming off. All right. So. All right. I'm going to let that dry. And then we'll do this guy. He's going to be chasing this butterfly. Kind of looks like he wants to eat it. <laughs> How did that cat hair get there? Go away, kitty hair. Okay. All right. That is a very cute. Very cute. Set. All right, couple of, um, just housekeeping. You know what, oh, before I go, I think we need, how about some rhinestones? Do you think we need rhinestones? Let's add, you guys can tell me what you think. Or actually, I'll show you. I did this one with rhinestones and this one without. You guys can, I think the rhinestones look good. I'm all about the bling. Let's see. Okay. I'll add one right there. I don't have to put one on every butterfly. Or you could. It's up to you. I'm not going to put them on the inside because I'm just not going to. <laughs> I don't really have a reason. Okay. Cute. All right. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Wanted to let you know, um, if you do not have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you would like a catalog, please personal message me and I will get you a catalog. Uh, free. No charge to you. Unless you're um, not local, um, then I will need to charge you a little bit of shipping to send that to you um, but I wanted to let you know we have a promotion that's happening called uh, hopefully you can see that bonus days and you earn coupons in um, July hey Charlene I see that you are on um, I thought of you when I put those rhinestones on because we both love our bling anyway Bonus day is in July. So when you spend $50, you get a $5 coupon that you get to spend in August. So that's for every $50 that you spend, you get a $5 coupon. Um, so this July would be a great month to just stock up on any supplies that you might need that let's say they are just um, basic general. Like right now I need to order envelopes I need to get, I need to stock up on my rhinestone embellishments. Um, what else? Card stock, some card stock colors I'm running low on. Those types of basic supplies, uh, I'm going to put an order in. And so for every $50, I get a $5 coupon. And they, they, um, you're going to get an email and those will add up. Um, in addition to those coupons, you're also going to get your hostess rewards if your order is $150 or more. Um, if your order is not $150, uh, I would love that you use my host code for July because then I redeem the hostess credits and I use that to replenish my supplies that we use in classes. So it just helps me out. Um, it also helps me to purchase prizes for you guys. So every so often I do prize patrol um, on my Facebook page. Okay, so $5 coupons for every $50. And it's, like I said, every $50. So it will um, add up for you. What's happening in August? 
Well, in August, the holiday catalog goes live. And if you are one of my regular customers, I've already paid Stamping Up to mail you catalogs. And so you should be getting a catalog, goodness, probably in the next, I would hope, two weeks. Um, because the holiday catalog, the holiday catalog, I want to say it goes lot. Oops, I can't show you. I, I think it goes live August 3rd. It doesn't say. It just says August to December. But um, so you could use those $5 coupons for when you're going to place your holiday order. Um, so this is a great promotion. The other thing I wanted to tell you about uh, for my Paper Pumpkin subscribers and for those of you that are not Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So Paper Pumpkin... Uh, for July is called Summer Nights. Um, if you do not subscribe yet, you want to sign up for this by July 10th. Okay? And there are lots of ways that you can sign up. So you can sign up that you are just ordered, uh, I'm sorry, that you are charged every month. So that's your month to month subscription. It's $22. That includes your shipping. Tax gets added on to that. Or you do prepaid subscriptions. So for those of you that just don't want it to come out of your um, your account every month, you could do a one month, just try it out for $21. Three months, $63. Six months is $114. Or 12 months for the whole year, just pay for the whole year, is $220. You're buying 11, you get one free. Um, but the only thing is shipping is not included. So it's actually a little bit more than that. Um, and I don't know why it ends up that way. It's cheaper to go your month to month subscription. So if you don't already subscribe, you'll want to do that. And you go to paperpumpkin.com. But for my subscribers, we have a really uh, cool special for this month. They don't do this all the time. Last year, I think they only did it once. There is an add-on kit. So for $10, you're getting 24 card bases with envelopes. Um, and those card bases, you're using the supplies from your paper pumpkin kit. So there's extra supplies in here, I believe. Um, so $10 for 24 cards is an amazing deal. Amazing. And so you're going to use the stamps with these and the ink and, and whatever um, embellishments are left over. Okay. So that was actually available July 1st. This is while supplies last. And you're going to purchase it on um, stampingup.com. So that's $10 towards a $50 order to get a $5 coupon. You'd only need to order $40 more. So you might want to tag on some envelopes. Maybe there's an embellishment you're low on or cardstock, whatever basic supplies you might need, or maybe you've had your eye on a stamp set. So you would not be too far away from getting that $5 coupon, okay? And you can place orders the whole month of July to get those coupons. So if you've already placed an order and it wasn't $50, don't worry about it. You can place another order in July and get your coupon. All right, so uh, this is the host code to do that. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube, Stamping with Jennifer Sinceri. If you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love for you to do that um, because I do post other videos there as well. Okay, guys, I think I'm done. If you have any questions, you can personal message me. Um, and I would love to answer those questions for you. I would love to help you out with any crafting needs that you might have. I know that we're doing a lot of crafting during this, um, pandemic and our sheltering in place. All right, guys, I hope you stay healthy and I hope you stay happy. Know that I'm thinking of you. I miss you and I'm sending you a hug. All right. Take care guys. Bye. <laughs> if I can figure out, oh, there, okay.